to Strateger.ca, where we provide you with practical advice to help you grow your business. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of a balanced online presence. Customer acquisition is a concern that a lot of entrepreneurs have. There is no denying that in today's world, every business needs an online presence as part of their customer acquisition strategy. But a lot of entrepreneurs are wondering where they should focus their time and effort. There was a time when a lot of people thought that websites were the way of the past and that social media was the way to go. But it seems we have come full circle. Do not underestimate the value of having an effective website. Ten years ago, social media was a new concept. When I was in university, Facebook was just being introduced. It was a new way for people to connect with new and old friends and avoid studying. Of course, as we know, the popularity of Facebook exploded and soon everyone and their dog was using it. This popularity could be seen in other social media as well, such as Twitter and YouTube. Soon other types of social media, such as Instagram and Pinterest, joined the scene. Businesses saw the potential to reach millions of people by using these platforms as a form of advertising. Many businesses opted to skip a website and put all of their online efforts into social media. They considered websites obsolete and saw social media as the new best way to reach current and potential customers. Social media is an important marketing element for many businesses, but it serves as a complementary medium to a website. Both work together as a cohesive unit to promote your business online. For example, we recently built a beautiful new website. A lot of time, effort, and other resources are invested into making this website a useful tool for our audience. However, there are millions of websites out there, and a website can't reach out. People need to find it. So we use social media to connect with our target audience so that we can direct them to our website, which is our hub. We mainly reach out through our Facebook page, but we also use LinkedIn, and our videos are hosted on YouTube. Let me tell you why you shouldn't put all your eggs into the social media basket. Credibility and professionalism. Most social media are free. This means that anyone can create a page for their business. Having only a social media presence without a website limits the credibility. Next is the limited amount of space you are given to tell your story. Social media platforms only give you a limited amount of space to tell customers about your company. Customization. A social media page is like a fill-in-the-blank story. There are key elements that you provide to make the page yours, but it essentially looks just like every other page. Reaching your audience. Each of these platforms has its disadvantages in this area. In general, posts tend to get lost and under tons of other posts from other people and pages that the user follows. Not many of your fans will regularly go directly to your page. On Facebook, there's a complicated algorithm that decides who will see your posts, even if they've already liked your page. This means that you can put a lot of time and effort into creating a post, and only a small handful of your followers will see it, depending on what the formula decides. Controlling the message. One huge downside of promoting your business on social media is controlling the message and what the customer sees. A customer might be looking at your Facebook page and you know those ads in the corner? It's quite possible that they could be advertising your direct competition. There are all kinds of other distractions like notifications, messages, and other pop-ups that take away from your goal. I want you to think about your website as your store. You can set it up and customize it any way you want, given the layout of it. Customers enter your store because they know of you or something has attracted them to it. When people visit your website, they're already warm, meaning that they're somewhat aware of what you're offering and they're open to doing business with you. Once you get customers into the store, you want to make it easy for them to learn more about your business and find out about your products or services. You of course want to make sure that your value proposition is clear and that you are appealing to your target audience. Think of social media as the person on the street handing out flyers and directing people to your store. They're out there among all the other distractions. They're informing the public about your business and what it is you do. But the potential customers won't truly understand until they live the full experience of walking into your store. Sometimes this person interfaces with people who have never heard of you, and sometimes they talk to people who have and remind them of you. 
The main purpose of social media, no matter which platform you use, is to keep your brand in front of people and to direct them to your website. Your business should use your website and social media together as part of a bigger online marketing strategy. While you can use one without the other, I recommend using both. Is your business online? I strongly suggest that you get online if you aren't already. It makes it easier for potential customers to learn more about you. If you're already online, take a look at your online marketing activities. Are your website and social media working together to get the people in the store? If not, what steps can you take to achieve this? For more tools and resources, check out our website strategra.ca. We update our blog regularly. And if you'd like to join our community, like us on Facebook. For more videos about how to grow your business, sign up for our free 7-day course on our website.